Today on Moving Day, we're told a sad story. I've had a lot of bad times. I've done a lot of crying here and getting over it, you know. But there's a happy ending. to moving day. Today we've come to Dunmo in Essex to meet a man who's about to move in with his girlfriend of one year and her three children. And he's leaving behind a 500 year old three bedroom country property and moving into a modern five bed place in Hoddesdon, Hertfordshire. Well done Gavin, come on, let's go meet Jimmy. Ex-commando Jimmy Croft runs an aquatic garden centre and has always been a family man. He was married to first wife Teresa for 18 years, but sadly he lost her through illness. Tragedy struck again when second wife Liz also passed away. They were married for 13 years. He's been living alone in this large country house for the last three years, but he's ready for family life again and it's going to be a big one. He's going to live with new girlfriend Debbie and her three children, Nicole, Haley, and Michael. He's bought a modern house with lots of space, as also moving in will be Jimmy's grown-up daughter, Laura. His son, Daniel, won't be moving in, but he'll be helping out. So, Laura, Jimmy, Debbie, Nicole, Haley, and Michael will become one big happy family. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> He's good swing. Jimmy, how Hi, are morning. you? Hi, morning. Hello, Hi. Jimmy. How are you doing? Good to meet you. Gavin. How are you? It's a good start. It's in the net anyway. That's right, yeah. <laughs> a nice swing going on there. Thank you very much. Yeah, what's your handicap? 18. Not bad at all. Very good. This yeah. is a beautiful place to practice as well. Gorgeous grass. Is that a treehouse? That is a treehouse, yes. Do you want to take a look? All right, let's have a look. Come on. Let's go look. It's I'll a tell you bit, what, a this is a great lookout point from here, isn't it? Yeah. It's fantastic. And you don't actually yeah. look over any of your neighbours. It's fields there anyway, so you can't right. look over your neighbours. How much land have you got here? About just under an acre. Just under That's an right. acre. The couple bought it. I knew they was going to have it because she actually fell in love with the building, you know. And I knew I thought this couple were, were there in there, you know. So I started packing up and getting everything ready because I am organised. Have you got removers? Packers? I got uh, yeah, I got removers, Perry removers, and um, my son and his friends were helping Debbie move her bits and pieces, you know. And they're all meeting at the new pad. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, you've said you're organised. I haven't had a look inside yet. So if you don't mind. Can I have a quick skip? Yeah, out please, help yourself. Yeah. I'm going via the golf net, though. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jimmy and his second wife, Liz, moved here five years ago. The first two years was absolutely idyllic, um, getting things done. I was with my wife. Um, unfortunately, my wife died of cancer after two years, so I spent longer here on my, on my own. Like, the last three years I've actually spent on my own here, um, coming to terms with her death and, and all that. So, um just basically getting over it and now it's time to move, you know. And this house was really her dream home, wasn't it? This was her home. Yeah, everything in there was her home, you know. She had collections, she collected everything, you know, kettles and teapots and perfume bottles and the home sort of was designed for having things hung on the ceilings and all that and so, so it was, you know. And I've had, I've had a lot of fun in this house with Liz, but I've had a lot of bad times. I've done a lot of crying here and getting over it, you know, and um, it's just time to go. I suppose the house has really been your friend as well, it's been your ally. Well, it has, yeah. Yeah, I do feel like I have felt at home here, you know. It has been like a refuge yeah. um, from normal life, if you like. I can come home and I can just actually just lay here and let all my feelings come out. There's no-one here to... Oh, I don't have to hide from anybody here on your own, do you? You can just cry or do whatever you need to do and stamp around, be angry, swear and curse at the world and Go life get a in few general. Balls. Get a few balls, yeah. <laughs> get the aggression out. Yeah, exactly. Whoa, very, very low ceilings in this house. All the exposed beams. Mind you, the house is quite old. A lot of history surrounding it as well. This is allegedly a priest hole. It's where priests hid when Henry VIII abolished the Roman Catholic Church. This room itself, very, very dark, quite a small window. Loads of dark furniture as well as the beams. I wonder how this furniture is going to look in the new modern house. And this would be the original part of the house, over 500 years old. And a little bit of history in here is the Inglenook fireplace where I am at the moment. Now, in the olden days, it used to be a log burner, as opposed to this modern fire here, with little benches. So the whole family that used to live in this room used to cuddle up here in the fireplace just to keep warm. 
This room I'm gonna love. Now I thought I couldn't live in a place like this because it was too dark, too small with the low ceilings, but suddenly I'm warming to it. Pint of best, up a pretty unusual staircase as well, and uh, I still can't stand up straight. Now the house has been added on to over the years. You can see a lot of the exposed beams here, as this used to be just loft space, but obviously they've needed bedrooms, and there's a very tiny one through there. It's all over loads of different levels upstairs as well, into another bedroom, that looks like the master bedroom, then up another couple of levels into another bedroom. But you can still see um, the exposed beams here as well, where they've actually built on. Underneath this would have been the original room with the Inglenook fireplace. Even the doors have had to be cropped to make them fit properly. But the very last room you come through to is Jimmy's dressing room. Now this house reminds me a little bit of the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. So in theory, if I go in this door, I'll see you back downstairs in a minute. Right, Gavin, you've had a quick snoop around the house. What is your verdict? Fantastic period property. Absolutely beautiful inside. 500 years old. Jimmy's got a lovely house here. Charm. But it's designed for people under five foot nine. Oh, do you bang your head at all? Just missed it a couple of times, especially coming out of the bar. Oh, that's a shame. Um, <laughs> well, look, I want to go meet Debbie and the kids and, you know, see what Jimmy's in for with the big move tomorrow. Well, I've got to pack up the golf swinging net. I'm going to have a few more shots just before I do that. I think you should concentrate on tasks inside the house. That's my advice. Mind you, your swing does need a bit of practice. Well, I'll do that first of all, then I'll tidy up in the house. Deal? Good. Good luck. Let's go. <laughs> oh, lovely four. Now, Jimmy definitely wants to take his practice net with him. And I've been told it fits all into this little bag here. Um, this should be a laugh packing this up. There we go. All packed up and ready for the move. Jimmy takes me over to meet Debbie and her family. He's been spending most of his time here lately. Normally, four nights a week, five nights a week, yeah. If I moan, it might be six. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean she my forgets house? I've got my own house. I forget he has <laughs> such a long journey to go back and forth, so... Well, it's nice to be in love again, darling. Yes. <laughs> oh, you mm. see, isn't that sweet? <laughs> oh, it is. It is, though, you know. Mm. Some people don't mind being on their own, but neither of us particularly like being on our own. Mm. We are better people with another person. Yeah. And um, I think I found my soulmate. That's <laughs> <laughs> good, have I, darling. Upstairs, Debbie's 18-year-old shopaholic daughter, Nicole, needs my help decluttering. Anything still got labels on inside the cupboard? Yeah, that one has. <laughs> I've given Nicole some wardrobe boxes for the good clothes. The rest can go to the charity shop. Oh, that's still got the label on it, that top. Are you allowed to slob gear as well? Yeah, that can go, that can go. It's just kind of a bit It'll unsexy. It'll give me an excuse to go shopping and buy some more clothes. <laughs> mm, that's a good thing. I better leave the boxes with her, ready for the next shopping trip. They'll be great for storing winter and summer clothes out of season. Listen, we're doing well here, aren't we? Oh, uh, don't tell me there's more in here. Yeah, there's some um, jackets. Oh. One of the things about having an old house is having old walls. Now, Jimmy said he's had a little bit of a patch repair done here. When it's dried, the plaster's actually shrunk slightly, causing it to crack all around the edges here. Now, two ways of fixing this. The route that Jimmy took by putting a large piece of furniture in front of it, which is probably the best one. Or if you need to actually fix the problem, then gouge out the join between the two bits of plaster with a screwdriver. Then fill the crack with a flexible filler, as chances are the plaster is still moving. It actually doesn't dry out properly for about a year and a half. There we go, it's filled a little crack down the wall there. I don't think the house is going to fall down overnight because it's been up for 500 years. You could do that yourself, Jimmy. Debbie's 14-year-old Hayley is busy packing. Hi, Hayley, how's it going? Fine. You're looking quite well organised in here. This is a good sign. Look at this, beautifully packed up <laughs> and labelled. Hayley's room, like your style. <laughs> what are you up to on the floor here, scrabbling around? Trying to get all these sorted to pack. Oh, the wires. Isn't it a nightmare? Always a mess of wires everywhere. Right, is this your aerial for your stereo? Do you want to hold that there? And I shall um, get a bit of tape going. It's a good idea to tape up the wires so they don't get in such a tangle again during the move. Let's tape this on. Now, I wonder how 11-year-old Michael is getting on with his yeah. packing. Hi there, how are you getting on? All right. Good, I brought you some of this stuff. Thinking it might help. What are you up to? Just wrapping up my... Games console. Games console. Are you a big fan of the gaming stuff, are you? Yeah. 
Your room is actually pretty neat. Your mum said that you were the tidiest of everyone. That's a lie. Oh, is it? <laughs> Despite what he says, Michael is in good shape for the move, with just a few last things left to wrap. Hi, Sally. How do you get on today? Very well, actually. Met up with Debbie. She's a lovely lady. Kids are terrific. They all think Jimmy's great. And he's, you know, been spending so much time with them anyway, it's not going to be that much of an adjustment for him. No, I think it's a good, good move in the right direction for him because he's leaving all that big plot behind, the work that goes with the house, a lot of maintenance and things like that. So it's definitely a move in the right <laughs> More direction. More mouths to feed, though. I tell you, it's going to be a big household. All under one roof, though. So good move or bad move? Got to say, good move. What do you reckon? I think great move for Jimmy. Excellent. The concerns I've probably got is, is timings. Um, people that are moving here have got to be in by 11 because they've got to go to a wedding. So just hoping it all runs smoothly, there's no hiccups with solicitors and money and everything else that can go wrong because I have been hearing horror stories of people not completing. So, yes, I'm feeling tired and looking forward to something to eat, a glass of wine and going to bed. Jimmy has a moving day horror story of his own when everything grinds to a halt. It's the morning of Jimmy's move. He's moving into his new house today with his girlfriend Debbie, her three children and his own daughter Laura. The removal team are already loading up and I find Jimmy in the thick of it. Jimmy, where are you? I'm in here. You're here. Hello there. Happy moving day to hey. you. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Are you feeling fighting fit this morning? No. Oh, no, why is that? <laughs> I got up too early. I'm there for the entire... So, basically, this is, your, like, your whole life's possessions that you put kind of in the barn. Yes. And the rest of the house is practically clear apart from furniture. That's correct, yeah. This yeah. is good organisational skills from you. I'm very impressed with that. <laughs> I've come over to give Jimmy's girlfriend, Debbie, a hand here in Hoddesdon. Hello. Having less stuff, Hi, she doesn't have a removal company in. It's just Hello. friends and family. So, Debbie, how ready are you for the move, then? Um, well, as you can see, I've still got more packing to do. Um, I've run out of boxes, so it's, you know, I'll get some from somewhere this morning. Well, we might be able to help you with that. I'll have to check right. the van. But the real issue is the sofa's not fitting down the stairs. They had to take the window out to get it in, so obviously it's got to go out the same way. Sounds like a job for me. I think to get those sofas out, because they are quite large, we'll have to remove the centre bar and actually the windows as well. But once we've removed the windows, it'll give us literally the width of this and the height of this to get stuff out, which should be enough. Now, chances are this is going to be quite unstable as it comes out as well, because it's quite a large window, so what you need is an extra pair of hands. Mr Duffy, if you could just put your hand underneath there, duck yep. down a little bit, take the weight. Have you got that? Yeah. Screw at the bottom first of all. Sorry, Stephen and then screw at the top, but hang on to the window frame as well. Right, have you got that? And then you'll have to go out and then back in again. The first one's the harder one, if you can just grab that for us. Thank you, mate. Because now you can get halfway out the window to get the second one, which makes it a lot easier. Back at Jimmy's, the removal team are making great progress. Jimmy's 25-year-old daughter, Laura, from his first marriage, has arrived to help. Laura, hi, how are you getting on? Not too bad. Good. Just got to take these curtains down. All these right. are the only ones we're taking, so... Mm -hmm. Get in there. Good stuff. And how are you? This is a big day for your dad, isn't it? Yeah, very big. No, it's very exciting. It's going to be great having him back in Hoddesdon. So yeah, be because great. you're living in Hoddesdon at the moment, aren't you? I am, yes. And then you're going to be moving into the new house, aren't you? Yep. Um, probably end of next month I'll be moving in, so... It's quite a brave move for you, moving in with your dad, his girlfriend and the girlfriend's three children. Yeah, no, it'd be great. We all get on fantastic, so... Do you? We'll have a good laugh. Because I had a chat with Nicole yesterday and she yeah. that you and her are kind of, you know, quite Oh, pals. we're best buddies, yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah. When Jimmy lost his first wife, Teresa, Laura lost a mother. With his second wife passing away as well, Jimmy and Laura are closer than ever. He was in the army for nine years. Wow. Yeah. So he's a bit of an action man, your dad, is he? He is, yeah. You're really proud of your dad, aren't you? I am. I am very proud of my dad. We get on ever so well. We get on, obviously, I get on very well with my brother as well. We're all very close. Yeah. So. And it's nice that you've come along today for a bit of moral support as well. Yeah. Jimmy has everything packed up in good time, but the completion on the new house still hasn't happened. Well, that's good then, Nigel, isn't it? 
Because I've got the camera on me now and I would hate to say anything bad about the lawyers and solicitors. Over at Debbie's, the windows are successfully removed and the sofas are flying out. Oh, here we go. Right, I've got this in, mate, if you just want to feed it. <laughs> I asked Jimmy's son, Daniel, why he wasn't moving in with his dad, along with everyone else. He won't have me there. <laughs> Would you want to? <laughs> nah, not really, nah. Once you moved out, you want to stay out, didn't you? Yeah. How come you've got roped in and helping moving this place, then? Well, you've got to help your old man, and yeah. Despite the fact there is still no news on completion, Jimmy's old house is empty. It means a lot to me, this house. It really does, you know. And I'm, I'd be quite sad to go, but <laughs> a go I've got, but I've got something to look forward to, you know. Yeah, exactly. And you've got memories of yeah. the time here, which have been very important to you. That's right. And yeah. uh, you know, you're moving on to this fresh new start. Yeah. And are you ready to say goodbye? You're ready to let go of this house? Do you think? But it's a funny feeling when you leave a, leave a house. It's. Um, you do seem to be leaving something behind. I can't explain it, but you do seem to be shutting a door like you've left a part of your life behind. The house yeah. is quite important part of your life, you know, your home. You know, Liz is still with me, but it just seems a big, big move, you know? If you wasn't here, and this is just true, if, if you wasn't filming today, I would really... I'd probably really have some tears coming, you know? Um, it's only been this last year, really, that, that I can actually talk about this without crying. This last sort of nine months, I suppose. Every time someone used to ask me about her, I used to choke. I, you know, I feel my eyes going, my throat going. And, but, you know, since Debbie's been in my life, I've slowly not done it. I could talk about her in a less emotional way, yeah. if you like, you know. But, um, as I say, today would have been a hard day. So I'm glad you're all here, really. We're here for a bit of moral support. Yeah. Help you on your way, you're getting me all emotional. Well, Luke, come on, should we get to the new house? Let's go and yes, start that new go. chapter in your life. Yeah. Let's do it, OK. Still awaiting completion on the new house, Jimmy decides to wait at Debbie's for the call from the solicitor. And wait. And wait. Meanwhile, Gavin puts the window back in. With that done, there is nothing to do but keep our fingers crossed. You know, it's a shame we've had this delay because, you know, a this, late completion can only mean one thing. This could potentially mean a long day, really. Yeah, it could be. I mean, it's now ten, well, ten past two. Even though we were going from two to one, I thought this was going to be a very easy move. I know, it's turning out to... It could potentially become a nightmare move. Mm. Jimmy has sold this house in Dunmo, Essex, for £384,000. He's bought this new home in Hoddesdon, Hertfordshire, for £460,000. Subject to completion, that is. It's through. It's yes! Four Congratulations! Hours. Four hours. It's some sort of long record. Four hours delay means the race is on to get everything in. Good job there's an army of helpers. The house itself is the complete opposite to Jimmy's old place. It's very modern and well-equipped, with bags of room for the new extended family. Being the oldest, Laura is getting the best room and she's been dying to show me. Right, so this is the room that I'm most excited about. Oh, yes! Sliding wardrobes, en suite. <gasps> My lady. Yeah, nice. I've done yes. well. I mean, it's amazing because you two are kind of like, you obviously get on very well, but you actually look quite like each other as well. You're like sisters. Oh, yes, we, we are. <laughs> Debbie always says we always that. look alike we when we're pass, out. We could pass as sisters, yeah. I think. We're going to tell everyone we're sisters, yeah. anyway. This is wow, the, the lovely balcony. <laughs> this is a great yeah. feature, isn't it? Could have put a few chairs and out here. We'll sit out here. We're going to spend drink. most of our time here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> having girly gossip. Yeah, glass especially of wine. in the summer, you love the nice sun coming down. And you can watch all the comings and goings of the neighbours down yeah. there. Check out for talent. Exactly. You know, Gav, it is like Piccadilly Circus in this house today. People wandering in and out, people everywhere. And that is exactly what this household's going to be like when everyone's moved in. I know, it's a good road test. We've had six, six people going to be living here. We've had yeah. about 16 here today. But well, it's going to be that busy all the time. That's right, and there'll be six miles to feed. And I'll tell you what, that equals big, jumbo-sized, American, swanky, high-tech fridge, freezer of joy. Which is a perfect housewarming gift, but we've got to get it in there first. So the fridge company prepare for a tight squeeze. Oh, that's not going to work on the right, guys. It's just door jams, isn't it? Let me get them off. Oh, yells. 
I like a glove. Oh, no, he's now saying, sort of talking to it, you know. Well done, guys. Oh, hold on here, hold on, Sam. I've got a foot there. OK. Oh, gentlemen. Take a bow, please. With the fridge freezer in, the only thing left to do is to fill it for all those extra family members. The removal team and friends have done a sterling job making up time, so that just leaves one very important thing. Are you ready for this, <laughs> Gavin? After three, are you one, ready? Two, three. It's off! Oh, my God! It's got TV on it. <laughs> it's got more than that. You've got internet, you've got TV, you've got music, and inside the fridge, look, it's completely <laughs> stashed to the brim, <laughs> which we ordered so on the internet. And look what's down here, a little bit of something my extra special for Mr nice. Gavin to open for everyone. <laughs> Whoa, we've got to be careful with that. Well done, we've got some glasses here. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. <laughs> but that's it from today's moving day here in Hoddesdon, Hertfordshire. <laughs> Now, if you're about to move house and you're looking for a bit of inspiration to get you in the mood, then you can check out our website. It's itv.com slash moving day. So from Jimmy, Debbie and the gang, Sally and myself, see you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Six weeks after moving day, Jimmy, Debbie and the gang have settled in well together and to get a bit more space, Jimmy's ordered a new conservatory.